Hey, thanks for watching. This is Jim Langley. Listen and watch as I try to shift my old worn out Shimano DI2 front derailleur, the brains of an electric shifting system. What's going on here is I'm pedaling with my left hand and I'm reaching up over the handlebars and operating the front shift lever with my right hand. Now if I shift the lever, it tries to shift, but it won't shift. Now if I shift it, push it, Shifts. And it'll shift back down again, but you can't make it do the upshift. Let you help it out. I can do this when I'm riding, but it's not ideal. <laughs> I reached out to Shimano and they let me know that the derailleur had to be replaced. I have a whole nother video about that project which I'll link to below in the description. In this video what I want to do is take the derailleur apart because I was curious what's inside one of these little electrical wonders. Specifically I want to see if I can find the part that Shimano said wore out. They called it a nylon worm gear which I can kind of envision in my head but I can't see it looking at the outside of the derailleur right now so I thought I'd do whatever it takes to take it apart look inside and see if I can find that thing and maybe reason out how the derailleur failed I already started working on the derailleur I used a Dremel tool which I'll show you where I cut it apart and I took out some little snap rings and also some screws that were holding the derailleur I'll show you how far apart it is now this little cover which was held on with the screws is off I cut the, one of the pivot levers because it was the only way I could get it apart and then this is the mechanical part of the derailleur. And then this is the electronics, the motor and the electronics in here. And this is the part that I had to use the Dremel tool because this was glued together. So I went around here with the cutting wheel and I cut that. And then you could take that out and you could see that there's gears here and there's a motor right there and on this side you can see that there's the plug and that's the little arm that completes the parallelogram that shifts the derailleur in and out so that's the only thing as far as I can tell this arm right here that these gears are moving now if you look at the gears there's your circuit board if you look at the gearing on here there's one gear that looks a little bit like a worm gear right here but it's not a nylon worm gear it's brass so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can take the motor out of there take the circuit board off and maybe underneath here we'll see some more interesting things Trying to come apart. There's part of the circuit board. And there it is. Look at that. There's your nylon worm gear right there. Right down in there. Looks like the nylon worm gear. Looks like the wires are keeping it in. What I'm gonna do is cut those three wires in there. They're joining the two parts together. And then I think we can see exactly what's happening once I can open that up. You can see the nylon worm gear right here. And then that nylon worm gear is operating this gear right here. And if you look at this gear, it's only like a third, oh, maybe a little more, of a circle. That's all it needs to be because the derailleur just kicks it up in one shift and kicks it down on the next shift. So it's a quick little motion of the derailleur.
So the worm gear here meshes with that gear on the back. And here's your little arm there. You can see how it could move it. I have to separate it. But if you move it, see how that little thing moves? That would be the action that shifts the derailleur right there. So if we look at the front derailleur and we look at the arm here, this little arm right here, that's the arm that activates the derailleur when the worm gear moves. So here's, your, here's what the worm gear is turning. See the little brass teeth? And on the other side of that is that little arm that fits together with this arm. I cut it apart when I took the derailleur apart. And if we pull on this little arm right here, it activates the derailleur. Pulling would shift onto the big ring. Releasing would allow it to shift back down. So pulling, upshift, downshift, upshift, downshift. That's how the worm gear, the electric motor, shifts the front derailleur. And it's driven by that worm gear. And even though it doesn't look worn out, it definitely looks like it has a lot of wear on it. All those other little gears there are gearing just like we have on the bike to change how hard it is to ride up a hill. It steps down the power from the motor or steps up the power from the motor to shift the derailleur. Pretty interesting. Kind of elegant, not that complicated. It would be nice if uh, you could buy replacement parts, but they'd have to make it easy to take apart. And maybe with the circuit board in there, it's too much to ask for that you could fix it without wrecking something. Well, that was a fun little project. You know, Shimano recently announced that in their Duraace and Altego groups, going forward, they're not going to have mechanical groups anymore. They're just going to make electrical groups. So I think it's good to know how these little guys work and uh, understand them a little more. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.